Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I am going to be showing you a grocery haul and a meal plan and I'm also going to answer some of your questions about budgeting during these times of inflation and food shortage. So if you are excited, I'm going to get you turned around and show you what we got at our King Supers. So our King Supers here in Northern Colorado is going to be Kroger for most of you. And we got so many amazing deals. I can't wait to show you how I do that. Um, I'm just going to like briefly touch on uh, the digital coupons and how you can navigate through the app. If you are new here, we make videos three to four times a week. I am a mother of two, elementary school art teacher and wife. We live in Northern Colorado and we love to make videos all about saving money, hacks to do that. And we do it in a non-threatening way because I know money is a touchy subject with some of us. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe. Make sure your bell notifications are turned on. If you are on the other social channels, follow me on my Instagram. That's always linked in the description box down below. I get on there and share photos of the food that we're making and my kids and just some really fun things that we have going on. So without further ado, I'm going to get you turned around and show you the haul. Here is everything laid out. In total, everything came to $88. There was a, uh, what was it, $8.99 delivery fee, and then we also gave a $15 tip. So we did good. I think we did really good. This is going to be for one to two weeks. It really depends. We have a bunch of stuff on the shelf. Um, we shelf cook. If you're new here, we shop our pantry first. So First up, the free item that we got this week was vegetable soup mix. Free items don't come to our app every single week, but this week it was some sort of veggie. They had a bunch to choose from, so that's what we chose. Oat milk, I was super excited about. The extra creamy was $2 off, and that is what my daughter loves to drink. So it came to $1.39, which is really awesome for oat milk if you um, don't make your own. A lot of people have been commenting, you can make your own. Yes, I'm aware, but um, this this is a lot easier. So I have some Dole chopped salad kits. These were $3.50 and yes, it would be cheaper to buy all of the ingredients separately, but we have a unique situation in the kitchen right now. We don't have a full size fridge, so it's just easier to get these. Um, the kids love these for sides and I just eat mainly the vegetables. <laughs> Um, and then over here were onions. These were on sale for like 30 cents, something like that. Um, 30 cents off, so it came down to 30 cents. I wanted an English cucumber, but they didn't have any. So here is a regular cucumber for sushi bowls and things of that nature. We also got a mango for 77 cents. Pretty excited about that. We love mangoes in sushi bowls and smoothies. And then I did get some honey smoked salmon for my husband. This normally is $15, which is like wildly pricey, but this was on sale for $12. And in comparison to like your average roast or something like that, I think that's pretty good. So we also got sweet Italian sausage. This was on sale for $3. I'm going to freeze it. I don't know what I'll make with it. Something Italian-ish, um, maybe lasagna or some sort of goulash with the Italian sausage. And then for fruit, we do have some blueberries here. I usually rinse um, fruits and veggies um, right before I eat them. I sometimes meal prep and rinse them then, but um, I just think it's easier and it gets more dirt off. I don't know um, if you rinse it before you eat it. I don't know if I'm wrong about that. Um, grape tomatoes. I thought this was interesting. It says do not refrigerate. This is the first time I've ever noticed that. Do you refrigerate your tomatoes, grape tomatoes? Please let me know in the comments. That was shocking to me. <laughs> and then we got some raspberries. The kids love raspberries. I feel like I have to hide these because they will be gone in a day, maybe, maybe half a day. And then we got uh, strawberries, organic strawberries were on sale for $1.67, which is phenomenal. Um, I'll talk about organic versus non-organic here in a little bit, but strawberries are number one on the Dirty Dozen, um, which is uh, some organic veggies that you should get. And then I also got some baby arugula. I love having this for pizzas and just salad. Sometimes I just snack on it as is or with like a dollop of hummus. It's super delicious. Then over here, I got some crackers for the kids. Um, Wilder calls them fancy crackers. I think it's funny, but he loves cream cheese and olives on his crackers. 
And then we also got some sourdough English muffins. Um, the regular kind that I get are plant-based. Uh, these are not, I don't think, but it was a substitution. Uh, we got butter for all the buttering purposes. Um, we get unsalted and then cheese. So it was three for a dollar, no, three for five dollars. So it brought it down to like 163 or something like that. I got a sharp, a mozzarella, and a Colby. I'm going to freeze the sharp and the Colby and then use the mozzarella. We go through like a block of cheese a week or maybe every two weeks. We're not like huge cheese eaters. And then I did get some sharp white cheddar cheese. The organic was on sale. Um, my husband really enjoys that with uh, pulled chicken. So I might do that or maybe some egg sandwiches with the English muffins. And then I wanted the Kroger brand whole wheat tortillas. They were the ones that were on sale, but um, they substituted it. So I didn't get the sale on those tortillas, but these Duncan Hines and Betty Crockers were on sale for 77 cents. Normally they're up high lately, like in the two dollar range but these are great to have on hand they um, expire in a year they're just easy to have in the pantry um, i got some brownie mix as well and a lot of these are um, not the best for you but they are vegan so there are ways that you can add um, vegan items to thicken it up and things like that i got the simple truth plant-based mail that was a dollar off and we use that all the time i got some tortilla chips i've been on a salsa and chips kick at night as well as sea salt and vinegar kettle cooked chips see i don't eat healthy all the time but i love having something crunchy um i love salt and vinegar chips they're like my favorite snack and then i also got some avocados i just got a four pack here so i can put them in sushi bowls and on toast and things of that nature and then pineapples, we've been on a kick with pineapples, but these were on sale for $1.37. And then the coupon said, um, just for you. So I don't know if they like pick up on things that you frequently buy and then give you a cost break every now and again. Let me know if they do in the comments below. I'm going to get this put away and I'm going to chit chat with you about some things. Hey everyone, I snuck downstairs quick to try and talk to you and answer some of the questions that I get. So I kind of narrowed it down into categories I have it on my notepad here. Um, the first question I always get, what app do I use? I use several apps. Currently, I'm not using any cashback apps. Um, I forget who said it a long time ago, but sometimes you, you know, have a time commitment and scouring cashback apps for great deals is a great way to save money, but it's also extremely time consuming. So currently I'm not using any cashback apps. Um, the apps that I use to order through are the King Supers app, the Target app, and the Walmart app. Um, with Walmart, there are rollbacks, but there's no coupons. So you'd have to go in store to use any coupons that you might find outside of the store of Walmart, if that makes sense. Um, so generally, if I'm doing Walmart, it's just like a pickup and that's the app that I use. But with Target, you, um, if you're a Target Rewards member, which is completely free, you don't have to own the red card or anything, you can get a lot of the perks and deals. And at Target, they do quick little things like 20% off of clothing and shoes or, um, you know, 30% off of some random like vegan item that I like. Um, but you really just have to get lucky with Target. I only buy things on sale. I think we've established that. So Target's a great one to have. And then the app that I use the most that I find the most savings is going to be my King Supers app, which would be Kroger everywhere else. So um, in the app, um, this kind of leads into the next question, like what is your strategy? And I know for some of you, you, you know how to grocery shop and you been doing it for years and that's how you do it but there are some people out there that really need help um, when it comes to being on a budget being cheap honestly um, I'm just gonna say it because I always say I'm the cheapest person you're gonna meet I will never buy anything full price and um, it's really hard for me to buy things at full price so um, we'll get into that in a second but my strategy is to go into the savings and that's just the center button if you're on the app and then from there, that's where I kind of just base my meal plan off of what I see in the savings. So if I saw that perhaps frozen corn was on sale for a dollar instead of a dollar fifty or something like that, then we would be having corn chowder or whatever we like with corn. So most of our meals are based on 
that little savings column. But I will say, um, my family, we eat a lot of the same things. I'm sure you've seen that pattern in our meal plan. We have sushi bowls every week. We have pierogies every week. Um, we have hamburgers every week. So, uh, we have a lot of those staples on hand, like mustard and ketchup for the hamburgers. We always get hamburger buns. If we don't have any, then I'll make some or we'll put it on toast or something like that. But that's another one of my strategies, if that makes sense. Um, but going into those sale items, a lot of the time they'll want you to buy more for a lower price. Like for instance, today I did get that cheese, three blocks of cheese for five dollars at a dollar sixty three a piece and uh, or dollar sixty seven I'm not sure I can't do the math right now but um the thing is like are we going to I ask myself are we going to eat that cheese yes we will and if we don't eat it this week we'll put it in the freezer for other times because that price right there is a really cheap price so if it's in your budget I suggest getting those things in bulk if that makes sense um, another thing that I do, uh, if my kids really want blueberries that week and blueberries aren't on sale, sometimes blueberries are like $6.99 for six ounces. I'm not going to pay that. So I will compromise and get raspberries or something that is on sale. Just because my kids want it doesn't mean that I'm going to get it. I know a lot of us parent like that. Of course, there are some times where I just give in because it's not worth the battle, but I really try and stick to $100 or less or $50 or less. I really put it in blocks like that, and that's how we kind of work and budget. And then after the savings, I go into Kroger's cash back option. So there's a lot of items that I had put in my cart that are on sale. And I go through and look for the cash backs to see if there are any that are the same. Um, and then when you do that, you can push the cash back option and it will put it into your account. You have the option of loading it onto your card at any time or you can wait until it reaches a $20 balance and then it goes right into your PayPal. So it depends how you want to do that. Um, a lot of the cash back options right now I've noticed are on alcohol and because I get it delivered, I can't get alcohol delivery. Um, that's what I've been seeing for the last month or two. There are some like random things that we may get like my husband's razors or soap or something like that um, that we can get a dollar cash back on. So I like to use that as a savings account. I don't cash it out every single time. I just let it accumulate till it gets to about $50 and then I load it onto our shopper's card. I've loaded it onto my PayPal once, I think, um, and it was like $20 or something like that. But I load it onto the shopping card that way during the month if ever we are um, low on our budget, which happens all the time. I just want you to know that just because we budget doesn't mean we run, doesn't mean we don't run out of money because we do. We live paycheck to paycheck. So, um, and I know a lot of you do too. And it's really tricky when you have a family and you're trying to navigate savings and do I go to several different stores to get a deal at one store? It really depends on how you want to be. I am the shopper of the family. I think I take after my dad, but I browse. I enjoy going to stores. I think Colleen, you and I are similar on here. Um, Colleen's a good subscriber down in the comments, but we, we like to go browse. I actually enjoy looking at these deals. People ask what I do in my spare time when I'm not creating art or momming. I, that's what I'm doing. I'm on app seeing if I can get deals, um, you know, or, or trying to relax. But anyways, that is my strategy. And then the third question I get is organic versus non-organic. I have people on here all the time about organic veggies and organic farming. Um, and from both sides, from both sides, I always say on my channel, I have kindness in my heart. I never try and shame anybody, but some people get super, I don't like this word, uh, triggered um, if someone is accusing them of not feeding their family good stuff. And I get that. I, I do. Because feeding your family is super important. But there are ways to feed them healthy items that will, I, I mean, there are ways to model it as well. Um, my kids see what I eat and they like veggies. I don't know if that's because they see me eating them or if it's because they truly like them. But modeling behavior is so important to me, especially in my parenting model. So I see all the time, like, if you feed your family, then you're doing good. Yes, that's true, but you can be feeding them better things, honestly. Um, organic versus non-organic, I do not buy everything organic. I used to. I used to before I had kids. 
because I was scared and I didn't do research and I saw pesticides and what they can harm. Um, and it's not just pesticides, it's other, it's other, it's other natural elements as well. But, um, organic versus non-organic, I stick with the dirty dozen, which I will leave the list right here and you can screenshot it. It's awkward when I'm filming and I have to edit a list in, but, the Dirty Dozen, they update it every single year on the EWG. Um, check it out. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's specific to your location, um, but there are some big ones on there. Uh, strawberries are a huge one. I, I urge you, if you can, to look into getting organic strawberries. Um, and if you aren't growing your own food, this is a good thing to look up. Um, so the Dirty Dozen are good and then I believe there's the clean 15 um, and of course there are other veggies and fruits that aren't even on that list but that's what I stick to and um, with that a lot of people say it's a privilege to buy organic and I agree I do agree but we are not um, rolling in the dough over here I budget the way I do so I can afford um, so I can afford organic vegetables or um, maybe a cleaner skincare routine or something like that. Um, that's that's why I budget. I try not to go out to fast food because um, I know it's loaded with sodium and terrible things for my heart and my family's heart. So it's really up to you and there's no shame to anybody that does the opposite of what I'm saying. I just get these questions from time to time and this is how I personally feel. You know, I'm a big advocate for you do you, um, and it, it's not going to bother me, and it shouldn't be um, bothering you if I get organic veggies or if I coupon differently than you. Um, the fourth category is the comment I get all the time, like, it's not that price in my area, and to me, <laughs> this is common knowledge. Of course, it's not going to be the same price, just like housing isn't going to be the same, or taxes are not going to be the same. It is local and specific to you. I live in a very small town in Colorado. I would be shocked to know if any of you that follow me live in the same town as me or even near me. I think there's one or two of you. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's definitely like the coupons, prices, organic versus non, your actual apps, like everything comes down to where you're from. And, um, how you budget. So it's definitely personal to the shopper, but I mean, I just wanted to jump in here and kind of give you my tips and tricks as a consumer. Yes, I would absolutely love to be self-sustainable 100%, but um, I know that's not something that's attainable. So I'm okay with buying things from the grocery store, buying things locally, and producing them myself in a garden, if that makes sense. So I hope these tips were helpful. Sometimes when I'm sitting here um, and uh, trying to get my thoughts out into the screen, it's very tricky. So if I stumble on my words, I apologize. But if ever I'm not making any sense to you, just ask the question in the comment or um, you can email me and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful and we are going to jump into the meal plan. All right, so for the meal plan this week, I am just going to talk about it here and then give you the meal plan on this side, and you can screenshot it for some inspiration if you want. I hope this is helpful and new, but there's some sunlight today, and I have some peace and quiet. I My microphone is working, so why not just try and talk to you straight, tell you what we're having. Number one, on Monday... Also, I would like to say, um, I'm just like a lot of other content creators, we don't eat things specifically on Monday or Tuesday. We kind of just let it flow throughout the week, whatever works, works. But we utilize leftovers hard. Um, we, I'm sure you know that, but whatever we can um, use a leftover and make it into something else, we do it all the time. So number one is going to be sushi bowls. So we do white rice. We're going to do a little bit of cucumber, avocado, a little bit of yum yum sauce, which is just vegan mayo, sweet and sour, and um, a little bit of sriracha. Uh, and then you mix that together with my husband's. I'm going to do some of that smoked salmon mixed with cream cheese. Um, I never know if he wants cream cheese or not, so I always ask. So it's possible we won't. And then that mango was on sale for 77 cents. So we're going to actually use that mango on top. It's so yummy with sesame seeds and um, very filling. Not a lot of leftovers with this because everybody loves it. Next up on the list is going to be KFC bowls. So 
We do ours a little bit different because we kind of combine our chicken and waffles with the KFC bowls, but we're going to do chicken and waffles. And if you saw the video on yesterday, yesterday, yeah, um, I did mashed potatoes in the waffle iron and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to mash some sweet potatoes and make them into little sweet potato, potato pancakes. And then we're going to put some corn on there and gravy. I'm going to do some pulled chicken for my husband and I might do some tofu. I have some frozen. So I'm not sure yet. We shall see. Uh, next up on the list is going to be burger night. So I always do veggie burgers for me. I don't do a bun. Gluten, I wouldn't say it like bothers me terribly, but I mean, a, a human it does have, I, I don't know how to say this. It, I mean, too much gluten is not the best for you. So I actually enjoy doing like a lettuce wrap with my veggie burger. And then we're going to do carrot fries. My family loves carrot fries. I love coleslaw. So I'm going to do that. Um, or maybe some sauerkraut, any type of like cabbage, um, to put on the side of burgers really just makes me feel like a picnic style. I don't know. So that's what we're going to do, um, for Wednesday or any other day. And then on Thursday, we definitely want to do pizzas. The kids love make your own pizzas. And I actually have off work a few days for some sort of break. I can never keep up with the school system, but we're doing some sort of break. So I think pizza will be fun. Pizza is a big leftover item in our kitchen just because when we make pizza, we just make a bunch of them. They freeze well. They're easy to put in the refrigerator so we can heat up for different meals. And we love pizza for every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. So pizza night is a must. We love pineapple and ham this time of year. And then for mine, I love arugula and balsamic and Kite Hill, the spreadable black pepper cheese. It's so yummy. And um, I'm hoping to get my hands on some nectarines. I love that on pizza. After it's warm, you just put some nectarines on top and it's super delicious. Peaches work really well with that too. And then one of these nights, we are going to do some croissant roll-ups. So we just take the Immaculate Baking Company. They make these croissant roll-ups that are delicious and um, they're plant-based. And then we do buffalo chicken in some. So for my husband's, I do chicken and um, buffalo sauce and cheese. And then for mine, I do buffalo sauce, chickpeas, and the Kite Hill cream cheese. And then you just roll them up. So we do six of them that way. And then the other six, we either do pizza style or some sort of like stromboli style. So I'll put some items in his as well um, when it comes to doing things like this we we don't really do a side uh, if the kids want broccoli that's fine but that's just an easy grab and go meal um with our schedules we don't really spend a lot of time together currently but when it's just uh, me and the kids it's so much easier for me to have quick things that we can make together i get questions all the time do my kids help with every meal and they really do um, they love cooking they love being in the kitchen I have no anxiety about my kids in the kitchen with me. I used to, I would say, but it's just a mess that you can clean up, honestly. It doesn't bother me. Um, I love to have them learn with me in the kitchen, so anything that's easy for us is the way to go. Um, and then lastly, my uh, son requested this potato salads, and he loves that. So it's just potatoes and pickles. We do vegan bacon, um, onion. We do some fresh dill, and then we put that on a bed of arugula. It's so good. Um, we throw in some tahini and water and garlic, mix that together, and make like a dressing with hemp seeds. He loves that. My husband loves things like that too, but he's really a meat and potato guy. That's how we both grew up, grew up just um, meat and potatoes. Um, and then we started like venturing out into other items in the world. We love Thai food. Um, we love Chinese food. I mean, we love across the map, any type of food that you can think of. I can't really handle spice, but um, he loves that too. We are in the heart of Northern Colorado, so we have a lot of access to like really amazing Hispanic cuisine, and it's just so delicious out here. Um, I always say when we moved to Colorado, it was just the best time because the food was so yummy. No shame to rural Pennsylvania. We have some really amazing German food as well, but I think, oh, there was one more. Um, my husband requested curry, so we just do quinoa, and then I just do a simmer sauce, the Tandoori Kitchen, nothing um, special. I'm capable of making my own. You just use 
coconut milk, tomato paste, or sauce, and then curry powder. That's how I do it, at least. I don't really toast the spices or anything. You can do that if you want. But we put that on top of the rice, and we usually do cauliflower and tofu. My husband does eat tofu, but I usually like to put a meat in there for him. So shrimp is uh, where we go when it comes to curry and his dishes. So yeah, that is the meal plan. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to screenshot anything. If you have any questions on those recipes, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, I try and get back to you all as fast as I can. The unique thing about it is I, um, when I'm in school, and I have a break. I actually can't comment back to you on the app. I think there's a block or something on um, the school Wi-Fi. So that's generally why I comment back at night. Um, I know we're all in different places of the world, but I do try and answer everyone. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul, this little chit chat, and I will see you this week. We have a lineup of videos. Um, I think I said in the last video, I hope you don't get sick of me, but I'm trying to get my step back, trying to get this YouTube thing really working for my family and I. So I am excited for the months to come. I'm excited to share our garden and some more yummy recipes. As always, let me know what kinds of videos you would like to see because um, we're a community here and I'd love to do some videos that you actually would like to see. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.